What's up guys, it's IVS511 here and today I'm going to teach you how you can get multi-touch gestures on the iPad and in my opinion it pretty much works on the iPod Touch 4G and iPhone 4, I haven't tested it yet so let's begin. If you, uh, this is especially for the uh, users who are not having a Mac neither they want to use Snowbreeze which is uh, a bit buggy and neither do they want to restore now so you have to get a jailbroken iPad which can be done with red snow and red snow is pretty much fast and not buggy so all you need is iFile and now I'm gonna open iFile now you have to just go to where slash is visible right up on there and you shouldn't be inside anything or something so you're gonna have to locate to war and then you're gonna have to go to mobile then you're gonna have to go to library then you're gonna have to go to preferences and then you're gonna have to go to com.apple.springboard.plist and open it with property list viewer and now all you have to do is hit the plus button right up in here and um, write SBU's system gestures and make it type to boolean and app on create and there then you're gonna have to just set its value true and you're gonna have to reboot your iPad and you're, you have the gestures pretty much and I'll just demonstrate you how they actually look and it's it must be right up in here the video of multi-touch gestures and comment mm, and if you have any doubt or suggestion don't forget to hit the subscribe button above and favorite this video and give this video a thumbs up I'll catch you guys later